Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is Pastor Ronnie from Saved by Grace Ministries. I know you can't see me right now, but I want you to look at this picture. This picture was lent to me by a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine. And I want you to see it because we're going to show you biblically Jesus. We're going to show you Jesus in this whole picture. I need you to, before I explain all this to you, I really want you to look at this picture and tell me what you see. Or tell yourself, rather, what you see. In the bottom left corner, there's a scripture that's there. And I was working out the other day. And this is in my, it's in my, it's in my garage where I work out. And I was sitting on my bench press and I was looking at it. And I just kept looking at it. And then all of a sudden, I looked in the corner and I seen EPH 4. 24 and I said hey that's a scripture so I read it and I'm going to read it to you but the reason that I'm having you focus on this picture because I want you to see what you see in it because I'm going to biblically walk you through this poster and I'm going to show you Jesus the Bible and everything of the Bible in this warrior we are warriors and soldiers in the kingdom of God. We are on this earth fighting the good fight of faith. And we're going to walk through this picture and I'm going to show you the Bible. So Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come before the throne of grace, Father God, and you've allowed me to see spiritually what this picture represents, I pray that the body of Christ will also see it. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I don't know if you could see the whole picture, but I got to as close as I possibly could. So the scripture on the bottom of the poster is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24. And that says, and that you put on the new man, which after God is created, in righteousness and true holiness. And as I'm looking at that scripture, I'm like, that's what we are. We are new creations in the Lord Jesus Christ. We are to put on godliness, put on Christ, walk in holiness. And as I'm sitting on the weight bench, I looked here and I saw the eagle and the eagle is like, it's, it's like an invisible eagle if you look really close. And so I automatically went, oh, wow, that's, that's deep, Lord, because I saw the scripture in Isaiah chapter 40. And the scripture is in verse 31, Isaiah 40, 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weak, and they shall walk and not faint. So we got the new man that is soaring on the wings of an eagle who's running and who's not going to faint. And I'm like, wow. And then I looked at where his foot was standing, and he's on a rock. And I said, ooh, that's the rock of Jesus Christ. So we're going to go to Psalms 89. Psalms 89, and we're going to read verse 26. And it says, He shall cry unto me, Thou art my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. So we have this new man in Ephesians 4.24 that's soaring on the wings of an eagle and is not getting weary, according to Isaiah 40.31, because he's standing on the rock of his salvation, which is Jesus Christ. 
And then I'm looking at the man and I'm like, oh, look at that, Lord. Look at that. This man is standing with the full armor of God. We're going to read Ephesians chapter 6. And we're going to read from 6 to, to 18. I'm sorry. Yeah, Ephesians 6, chapter 6. Verse 10 to 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil days and have them all to stand, to stand therefore. Now, stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth, the loins girded with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith which you will be able to quench the fiery darts and take the helmet of salvation and the sword which is the word of God. Now, brothers and sisters, I, I, I want you to see this because this whole picture represents Jesus. It represents the battle. It represents what we stand for. We have the new man that is created in Christ Jesus who's got the strength and he's soaring on the wings of evil eagles because he's not going to grow faint or grow weary. Because he's standing on the rock of salvation, who is Jesus Christ himself, and he's girded for the battle because he's in the armor of God, ready for war. And it talks about putting the whole armor of God on that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickednesses in high places. Yesterday, I had a conversation with three people, a brother and two sisters in the Lord, about spiritual warfare, about understanding the, the lies of the devil, the voice of the devil, to see how we wrestle not against these people on this earth, our loved ones, our family members, but we wrestle against the spirits that are using them. And I'm like, all this happened yesterday after I was seeing this picture. And you have to see how God brings confirmation. We are in a spiritual battle, brothers and sisters. We're standing girded in the armor of God to be able to fight. We have the strength of the eagle that's soaring without getting weary or fainting because we're standing on the rock, which is Jesus Christ. I wanted to show you this picture and to illustrate the Bible in this picture because that's the importance of having a relationship with Jesus Christ. The importance of having this relationship, brothers and sisters, with Jesus Christ is so you could see things like I saw. So you can, God could speak to you. I'm lifting weights. This poster is on the wall. Each, each time I'm doing a set, I'm looking at the picture. And each time I'm looking at the picture, I'm getting a different revelation. And then I do a set, and then I go back and I look at the picture, and I do a set, and I go back and I look at the picture, and I'm like, oh my God, God's all in this picture. He's showing us everything. I wanted you to see the picture instead of seeing me preach to you, because I wanted you to see how God spoke to me. How's God trying to speak to you? Maybe God is trying to show you something. 
that you're not really paying attention to. And so I share that with you because yesterday was a very deep spiritual battle. And um, I'm going to ask for you guys to keep me up in prayer because as a minister of God, I'm constantly giving out, giving out. I have my moments, but I, I can always use prayer. You know, I, I get under attack a lot because I'm sharing YouTube, Facebook, all these different ministries that God has me in. And sometimes we need to have prayer. So I shared that with you because that's what God showed me. And I, 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 I'm still amazed because I know if I sit and look even more more in depth, he's going to show me more. But I just want to share that with you. But I told somebody I would. So I pray you saw it. I pray you understood it. And may the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.